guys and welcome back so it is time yes it is time to start doing this cardi b hair mask okay like i want to do it like i want to review it i want to do it it just seems like it's healthy for your hair now she uses different things in her hair mask and i just found that um these things work good for my hair um i am going to be doing a chop a big chop yes a big chop on camera and then I'm gonna go in with this mask uh, my hair is just definitely right now is brittle is dry it is not doing so well because I was natural in the beginning um, and then I decided to put a text uh, texturizer on my hair and it just didn't do me well and when I say did it do me well, sis, it did it do me well. So it just made my hair so dry and brittle and it just got to go. And I got to start all over, which is okay. Um, and I'm going to follow up with this hair mask. So what I have here today is just two bananas. Um, a whole thing of avocado. This is, I believe, holy guacamole or holy avocado, something like that. Um, I normally buy these in bulk at Costco or at Sam's. I have just a big spoon to measure out my oils, which um, I do have one egg. Cardi put two eggs, but I only want one because if you sit in a jar with egg, you definitely know that your hair is going to be fried and you're going to have some fried egg up in your hair. So I'm going to do one egg and I'm not going to use a dryer. I'm just going to use one, uh, just a plastic bag um, over my head because I didn't stop by the store to grab a plastic cap, shower cap. Um, so the oils that I'm going to be using in greases is going to be um, my Sunny Island um, Extra Dark Jamaican Black Castor Oil. If you hear any noise in the background, it's my washer. I'm washing and filming that at the same time. And then I'm going to be using my Good & Gather Signature Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil. And then also I'm going to be using my Suff my Suffer. <laughs> yes, let's just say Suffer 8 uh, Medicated Original Formula. And then my favorite is my B&B Maximum Strength Super Grow Thickener. Um, these all work well on my hair. I'm going to be using, first of all, I'm going to just, I, I don't know the measurements of Cardi B. I just saw it and I was just like, that makes it, that looks so nice and it makes her daughter hair look so nice, shiny, healthy, and just pretty. And then also when she did it on her hair, it, her hair looks so beautiful and gorgeous. So I was just like, I don't have long hair, but at the end of the day, like, I want my hair, the curls and stuff to pop in my hair. And I've seen a lot of you guys do a review on her um, hair mask. And y'all curls was so juicy. It was so looking good, so beautiful. They were so tight and bouncy. Like, I know that I'm doing a big chop and my curls are not going to be, like, you know, bouncing all over the place and stuff like that. Because she ain't going to have, like, a lot of hair. So, but I do want my curls to pop. Um, after I do this so I'm gonna go ahead and start um, putting some of this inside of my fusion um, blender this is a personal on-the-go blender you can take this anywhere you can buy these at um, Amazon um, all you have to do is just turn on the button charge it turn it on and make your smoothie and go you can take the whole thing with you um, and you can also make smoothies while you're at the gym or at work wherever you want to make a smoothie in your car <laughs> you can make a smoothie okay um, and then I also have just this regular reusable Prego spaghetti jar make sure you wash this out really good I did wash it out real good so it don't smell like it and I didn't have any spaghetti sauce in my hair <laughs> or in the mask so I did get that so if you have one of those laying around definitely get that now I don't know if you're supposed to put this in the fridge or if you can leave this out but I'm gonna put mine in the fridge um, so yeah so what I'm gonna do is just measure out my oils with this spoon here and we're gonna go from there and I hope that it turns green like everybody else's because girl I look if it turned another color I don't know what to tell you <laughs> I don't know to tell myself but we are gonna we're gonna make we're gonna make something happen honey y'all this that pre uh that pre uh picture gonna look cute but honey this is what we ended up with and when I tell you this ish stink it like it stinks like uh it smells like 
I don't know what to tell you. But sis, this is a hot mess, okay? If you have a bigger blender, use your bigger blender. But my blender, this blender is an okay blender. It is a nice blender. But it's having a hard time trying to chop up, process all this stuff. Like, look at this hot mess I got going here, sis. Like, oh my goodness, I didn't know. Okay, now, if you're wondering how this goes, like, what do you put first? Like, I'm going to just tell you my, my, um the way that I did it and like I said if you have a bigger blender definitely use your bigger blender because that's gonna help you out a little bit more um, I just thought that this will help me out with this look it's just little it ain't a lot and it just like the blades on here and everything like it's not the fusion fall it's just it's so much product you got to put in there and it smells like yeah <laughs> the back of your way no nah, I'm just saying y'all but um it, it really smells okay but the order that I went in excuse me the order that I went in was banana I used, put the bananas first then I put the oils and I blend that up by itself then I put a little bit of banana of the banana paste in there and then I put the avocado apparently it's two avocados so I should have put just like one avocado at a time so I messed up on that part so just put one avocado at a time in your blender and blend it all up but I do like that color it is green it's turned out green but honey Cardi you didn't tell us it was gonna be a hot mess it was gonna be like this but anyways, I'm going to finish blending this up. And then once I'm done, I'll meet you guys upstairs because we're going to be doing the big chop. So, you guys, I hope you can see me. But um, it is nighttime out there. And I don't know why I decided to do this at night. But it's okay. Um, so, the mixture looks like this. It looks just like this. It's just green or whatever. Um, it just reminds me so much of snot or boogers or something like that it reminds me of my son like ew <laughs> but anyways and what i mean by it reminds me of my son like if you have kids you already know the drill with the snot and the boogers and they just being disgusting and nasty but um and it also reminds me of that slime too as well it just it just looks nasty it smells nasty too as well but um i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my hair and then go ahead and start this big chop because i am so over my hair and my hair just looks like it's dry it's it's just I don't know you guys and uh, so what, when I told you that I texturized my hair my natural hair um, it just made it a bit messy so it's where I wanted to be at as far as the growth um, I left all the old hair on there so that it could grow out um, so when I did cut my hair I wouldn't be completely bald head if that makes any sense I want hair on my head and I want um, it to grow out nicely so I did go ahead and wash it so that I can know where to cut at um, and not cut my natural hair um, so I'm going to go ahead and do it I just have some some um, with salon scissors um, I did uh, talk to a salon uh, lady about it um, and I told her I said I just want to go the easy route I don't want to pay for it I just want to she said a lot of people do their big chop at home so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking in this mirror here so that I don't mess up but you guys can watch me as I cut my all the dead hair and all that stuff off my hair uh, so yeah I'm not going to go in any order I'm just going to start chopping start chopping away so yeah <laughs>
this is where we are right now, you guys. I'm not at all afraid to cut my hair or nothing like that. Wasn't nervous, nothing like that, because I've done this in the past and I'm, I just feel really good that I got all this dead weight, <laughs> all this dead weight off off my head guys let me tell you something if you're going through like anything toxic toxic family toxic relationship drama stress whatever and you just feel like oh my gosh and you you just feel amazing once you cut all that drama all that stress all that depression all that toxinness off your head like you really feel good um you feel good and i'm not in None of that, but I'm just saying, like, if you're going through something um, and you want to start over, start fresh, since that, ugh. when I tell you my hair feels light and it feels really good and I feel great that I got that off my scalp, um, I just feel really good. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands because my scalp was really greasy, you guys. And um, I didn't, um, I cut some of my, like I did cut some of my natural because I just wanted all to grow back evenly. And I thought that was the best way to go. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply this stuff to it. The hair mask, the Cardi B inspired hair mask. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Girl, I got some of that dead hair up in there. So let me go ahead and do that. It does have like some chunks in it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has like some chunks in there. But I'm going to go ahead and saturate my whole scalp, everything with it. And like I said, um, with time, I will be snipping my hair, like snipping. I will be cutting my hair more and more until I get all that that bad <laughs> that bad bad texturizer out of my hair um, I just don't know what happened to it this time I don't know what I did wrong or what I just think that next time if I do decide to do it I'm gonna go to beauty shop and let them do it so when I say I'm gonna put a lot on my hair I'm gonna put a lot because I want to get all that oil the oils and the avocado and the egg and the banana he's all into there when I, this feels so good but it stinks <laughs> it feels so good so i don't know if i'm going to use all this but if i don't i'm going to put it in the fridge and let it um do its thing and then like maybe um, the end of this month, which we are almost heading into, I'm going to do another mask on my hair. Um, I'm going to try to do two masks a month on my hair because I really don't do masks on my hair. But since this has like great benefits and it grows your hair out and stuff like that, I'm going to just go ahead and start doing it like two times a month. If you have good hair, I wouldn't say do it two times a month. This avocado is literally dropping everywhere. I wouldn't say do it two times a month, but I would say just do it uh, once a month. But since I just chopped my my hair off, um, yeah, I want it to get nice and juicy. <laughs> So far, it feels very soft to my scalp. It feels really good. Like, it feels refreshing some type of way. And it doesn't have, like, mint or peppermint or anything like that in there. Which I should have gotten some peppermint. But, um, you guys, it feels really good. I'm not going to lie. Cardi, you're going to come out with your own hair care. Because um, this feels so good. Like, I literally want to do this every day, but I know I can't. And so far, you guys, if you can see it, you can see my little waves going on there. So it's doing its job. 
I said waves like, you know, dude. <laughs> she got sea, sea waves going on here. But Lily is making it look sick over here. Um, put some on these edges, cause honey, my edges is falling out. Like, when your edges start falling out, child, you need to start getting a routine or something. What I got is a Cardi B routine. <laughs> I'm so late at trying this. I'm so one of those type of people where I have to research stuff before I try it. And I'm sure she will want us to. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to let this sit into my hair for like 30 minutes. I don't know. Probably yeah, like 30 minutes. Get my washing and stuff done. Finish up my little um, washing routine video up. And then... Once I'm done with this, I definitely will. What is this? I keep feeling like something hard in my hair. Oh, it's the. Yeah, definitely watch out for those avocado things up in there. The skin to peel off the avocado. I think this is about it. That's about all I'm going to use. that's enough because it smells really really bad <laughs> but it, it seems to be doing like its job can I tell you like this stuff is very messy Baby, you better listen to me, sis. <laughs> this is very messy. I didn't plan on uh, cleaning my bathroom two times today. <laughs> so once all this is done, you guys, I'm going to just put my little um, protective style wrap on and then put my wig back on because I just love, like I can't go without my wig. And a lot of people like to show their natural hair off, but since I'm trying to get it to grow back out, I definitely don't want to um, uh, it to be out right now. Um, I am going to let it grow for like maybe six months and then I'm going to get some braids just to protect it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let this sit on for 30 minutes and then we'll see the ending results of it.